we all heard it as a child. And if you have young ones like I do, I bet you even said it to your child today. Quote, the answer is no. And the answer is no to Mr. Donald J. Trump. Here it is, the quote. This appeal requires us to consider whether the district court had jurisdiction to block the United States from using lawfully seized records in a criminal investigation. The answer is no. We have breaking news tonight in the federal criminal investigation of Donald Trump and the curious case of the missing 13,000 government records that were found squirreled away at the former president's beach club in Florida. Tonight, the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals has thrown out the special master that Trump fought for and who was put in place by a Trump-appointed judge. That judge, Eileen Cannon in Florida, took Trump's side and appointed a third-party arbiter, a referee, if you will, to sift through the thousands of government records, many of them classified, that the FBI seized from Mar-a-Lago in August. The problem with appointing a special master here? The government argued that it hindered their ongoing criminal investigation. Essentially, they said, we need those documents. This is a matter of national security. And a lot of legal experts saw this whole special master gambit as the former president's strategy to slow walk the investigation, including, most likely, the Justice Department, which appealed the appointment of that special master. And tonight, tonight, the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals in Atlanta has effectively said, Sorry, Mr. Former President, you are now out of luck. The judges said Trump's arguments as to why a special master was necessary were, quote, a sideshow that's actually in the filing. And they did not stop there. They said in no uncertain terms about Trump's arguments, quote, the government disagrees with each contention. Now, tonight's order is a per curiam ruling, which means it's attributed to all three judges on the panel. No single judge authored it. It's a showing of solidarity, and that is significant because those three judges, they were all nominated by Republican presidents. Two of them were nominated by Trump himself. And let me tell you, those judges did not hold back. Quote, in considering these arguments, we are faced with a choice. Apply our usual test, drastically expand the availability of equitable jurisdiction for every subject of a search warrant, or carve out an unprecedented exception in our law for former presidents. We chose the first option, so the case must be dismissed. It really doesn't get much simpler than that. There were three options. One was sane and the other two were insane. We chose the sane one, which shuts this whole thing down. The ruling continues. The law is clear. We cannot write a rule that allows any subject of a search warrant to block government investigations after the execution of the warrant nor can we write a rule that allows only former presidents to do so. Either approach would be a radical reordering of our case law, limiting the federal court's involvement in criminal investigations. And both would violate bedrock separation of powers limitations. Accordingly, we agree with the government that the dismissal of the entire proceeding is required. Full stop. Now, with this evening's ruling, the Justice Department, theoretically, if Trump doesn't appeal this, the Justice Department can resume its criminal investigation with access to those thousands of declassified government records as soon as next week. But even having those documents held up by the special master process has not stopped the Justice Department and the newly appointed special counsel from continuing its investigation. The New York Times is reporting today that today's decision from the 11th Circuit comes on a busy and very important day for special counsel Jack Smith. The decision came on the same day that three close aides to Trump appeared before a grand jury in Washington that is investigating Mr. Trump's handling of the documents, according to two people familiar with the matter. Those aides included Dan Scavino, Trump's former social media guru, and William Russell and William Harrison, who worked for Trump when he was in the White House. In recent weeks, several witnesses connected to that investigation have appeared in front of a grand jury in federal district court in Washington. Now, NBC News has not confirmed that stopped the press's information, but if this reporting bears out, the special counsel in the Mar-a-Lago Trump documents case is ramping up on a day where Mr. Trump has once again lost in court.